G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Sean and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to back up your Windows PC, Windows 10, uh, to your NAS. So the guide um, that I'm going to be giving you today is from my Windows PC that I use every day. It runs Windows 10 and the NAS that I use is a NAS from a company called Synology which is a DS416J. The steps that I'll be doing um, are going to be obviously for the setup that I have uh, for myself um, but it shouldn't be too different depending on the NAS that you have because um, most of it is driven from Windows 10 but as far as creating the backup system on the NAS that part might be a little bit different but hopefully with this guide you can hopefully consult uh, the manual that you're using for your NAS um, to get it working for you. So. To begin with, what we need to do is we first of all need to log into our NAS uh, from our web browser. So your NAS should have an IP address that you can type into your web browser and you can log in with the credentials that you've, you've set up. So for me, uh, what we do is we log into our NAS, log into the Synology NAS and go to the main menu and we open up the control panel. So when we open up the control panel, we're going to get this window here and on the left hand side we want to look at the option that says shared folder. So when we look at shared folder we have a list of folders here um, that you may have already created um, and you can see down the bottom here I've created one called Windows Backup. So I've already gone and done this in advance but just to give you an idea on how to get to that point we want to click on the create button. So when we click on create we give it a name so you can call it you know Windows Backup like I've done you might want to call it you know, um, your name and then backup or your PC's name and then backup if you've got multiple uh, PC's. And then you can give it a description. You can enable a recycling, uh, recycle bin function if you have that on your NAS. Uh, you can click next. Now it's giving me a uh, red box here because I've already created that so I might just call it one for this example. Go next. Do I want to encrypt it? No, I don't wish to so I'm going to go next again and it's going to say okay this is the name this is the available space for that uh, for that folder and you've enabled the recycle bin function for our administrators only so this is a quick summary I'm going to click apply and then what we're going to do on the next screen is we're actually going to see a list of users and who we're going to give permission to so we can see here we've got obviously the admin um, I've got different people that are friends and family members um, on that list as well and I can choose who I want to give access to or who I don't want to give access to. So for my, I'm going to delete that just quickly. So now that we've created our Windows Backup uh, folder here, we can minimize our web browser and we should be able to see it in our Windows Explorer. So in Windows Explorer, you should on your left hand side have a NAS here. Um, I've called mine DSJ Backup and we can see down the bottom we've got here the Windows Backup folder that I created earlier. So we know now that Windows can see the drive, we can see the folder, we should be able to back up to it. So we can minimize that as well and we can go into our Windows settings and we can go to where it says here update and security. So we've got here Windows update, recovery and backup. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to go ahead and click on backup and we should see an option here for add a drive so we'll click on that. It's going to search for drives that are on your network so I've got here my DSA backup I've got a backup folder I've also got a media drive which is part of my PC but I don't see my Windows backup so to find that I'm going to go show all network locations and we can see now we've got the uh, same list that we had before in our web browser uh, backup home photos Plex for example we can see all of that here with the Windows Backup option. So we can see we've got Backup, Homes, Photo, Plex, etc. And down the bottom, we've got Windows Backup. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows Backup. Hopefully it loads. Sometimes Windows 10 just decides to crash for no reason. Add a drive, we'll just do that one more time. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Windows Backup. I always found it crashed for the first time doing this for some reason. Um, and we've got an option here for automatically back up my files, turn that on. So if you want something just a simple one click uh, optimization, you can just leave that on 
If you want to tune things a little bit more or see what other settings there are, you click on more options. And what we can see here is a summary. So we can see the size of our backup, which is zero, because we've not actually completed a backup yet. It's going to back up my files every hour. It's going to keep my backups forever. And these are the folders it's choosing to back up. So you want to just maybe quickly scan through those, and make sure that they're all the folders that you want to include. And as far as the time frame, so depending on what you're doing on your PC, every hour or every three hours or every six hours, that might be okay. But if you're doing like video editing or photo editing work where you can do quite a lot in an hour, you might want to choose to reduce that time maybe down to 15 minutes or even 10 minutes. As far as how long you want to keep the backups for, I would recommend keeping them forever. Um, but again, you can go ahead and choose it. Some people will only choose to keep them for maybe six months. Um, or maybe you can choose the option until space is needed. So that will mean that you'll get a notification when um, the NAS is running out of space and it will delete your oldest backups, however, however many backups you have. Now, one feature that I do like a lot down the very bottom here is exclude these folders. So your backups um, should really be only backups of files that are absolutely critical or sentimental to you not things like TV shows or movies. So, because that kind of stuff you can you can download again and again. So, if you click on add a folder, you might wanna go ahead and find your movie folder or TV folder or uh, a folder that doesn't contain anything sentimental. And you might wanna to choose to exclude that, which is going to help reduce your overall backup size. And it's gonna enable, enable you to continue to have uh, more backups in the future. So. For me, I'm going to say I don't want to uh, include the videos folder and I'm going to choose that. And so now what's going to happen is down the bottom here, it's going to have a exclusion list and you can add to that list as time goes on. Um, and now down the bottom here, you've got the option of stop using this drive. So maybe, you know, you upgraded your NAS or you got a different backup system. You can, you have to actually stop using the drive that you're backing up to first before you can choose the backup to a different device. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about uh, these steps or this process, because again, it might be different depending on your operating system and on your NAS, please let me know and please reach out to me. Uh, I'll be doing future videos, um, which will be how to back up your phone to a NAS and how to back up a Apple uh, computer to a NAS. So if you're running Mac OS 10 on an iMac or a MacBook Pro, I'll give you a quick guide on how to do that as well, because you can actually use your NAS to back up files from either operating system simultaneously at the same time. So again, your NAS is your, your complete uh, backup media server. It's your complete solution, really. If you have any questions about what a NAS is, I've done a video on that already. Um, I'll put a link up here somewhere so you can click on that and you can go back and watch those videos. Um, please like this video if you did enjoy it, if you did find it useful. Um, if you have any um, requests, please let me know and drop a comment down below. Um, please subscribe as well if you want to see more. It really, really helps. Every uh, like and every subscription really, really makes a difference. Keeps me motivated. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.